Spotify opens its wallet again. The latest from podnews.net with PodPage. Upgrade your podcast website in minutes. If you thought Spotify had stopped spending the big bucks on content, well, think again. The company is making offers reaching seven figures to encourage video-oriented creators to distribute their shows to the platform in addition to YouTube. That's according to a new scoop from Bloomberg's Ashley Carmen, which we link to today. She points out that when you upload videos to the service, it pulls audio from the video file rather than from your RSS feed, thus cutting out dynamically inserted ads. The BBC is doubling down on its podcast windowing strategy, making more of its podcast episodes available exclusively first behind a registration wall on the BBC Sounds app, usually for a week or for a month, and only then publishing on Open RSS. The BBC claims a successful 18-month trial, which it says attracted 218,000 listeners to use BBC Sounds. That's 4% of the total audience. But it also admits that the majority of listeners still use Open RSS to listen. The BBC was the first UK broadcaster to embrace podcasting in November 2004, but it's since retreated from the open internet. Google's Notebook LM now lets you, quote, listen to a conversation about your sources. It'll take a full set of articles and turn it into a lively conversation, or as we call it, a podcast. Well, we asked this AI tool to take our popular article which explains podcast stats and... Well, it's made a seven-minute podcast about it. Here's a little clip. It really highlights why just looking at download numbers alone isn't enough. we got to dig deeper, look at engagement, the real deal. It's about the quality of those listens, oh. not just racking up a huge number of downloads. Those are just virtual dust bunnies if nobody's actually listening. I have to say, it's a pretty impressive thing. Google's Notebook LM is free for everyone. Podcast platform Podio has put its podcasts into taxis across the UAE, reaching millions of monthly passengers in the country, just in time for Dubai Podfest on September 30th. And here's a tip for you. If you're linking to Deezer from your podcast website, go and have a look at that logo. Deezer's logo is a purple beating heart. We link to its branding website today. If you're still using a kind of coloured equaliser thing, stop it. We're all laughing at you, boomer. They stopped using that in November last year. And thank you to Andy Bowers, who became a personal supporter this week, co-founder of Spooler, previous co-founder of Megaphone, founder of Slate Podcasts and Pinner. We're proud of his support. You can be like Andy by visiting podnews.net slash Patreon. And in podcast news, the Pod News Weekly Review this week talks to Steve Pratt, the author of the new book Earn It, Unconventional Strategies for Brave Marketers. And he talks about the importance of earning attention in the modern digital landscape. The Media Club with Matt Deegan is the new name for the media podcast, the weekly show about UK media. The show, one of the UK's longest running podcasts, has been given a new look, new website and a new episode today. It's produced by Rethink Audio and the rebrand was managed by Podcast Discovery. Al Jazeera has launched its first video podcast, Now You Know, is hosted by Samantha Johnson and amplifies women's voices globally. And a new podcast launched yesterday aims to challenge stereotypes of Asian and Asian Americans. Aconic is hosted by Soon Yu and talks to guests who have seen success, including the roadblocks, misfires, frustrations and failures they faced along the way. This podcast is sponsored by PodPage. It's easy to spend too much time hiring a website developer, too much work on all the different pieces and too much money on website hosting and management. That's why more podcasters are switching from WordPress to PodPage, where you can upgrade your podcast website in five minutes. To get started today, there's a link in the show notes. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 